The Infocom industry needs to fill as many as 30,000 new positions by 2020. And according to Communications and Information Minister Dr. Jakob Ibrahim, the government will introduce new programs to help the industry. He was speaking at the IT Leaders Awards organised by the Singapore Computer Society. And Dr. Jakob said Singapore's 150,000 strong Infocom workforce must continue to master new skills and sharpen competencies if they are to stay relevant in the fast-changing industry. He added that the Infocom talent pool can be grown through skills conversion and upgrading and that companies must look beyond the traditional sources of manpower. There is a need for our companies to review the HR to meet the needs for the future. So for example, some companies today still want to recruit only university graduates. And we know from assessments that our polytechnic graduates can hold their own against university graduates when they are judged by competency and not qualifications. Companies who ignore this will miss out on a well-qualified pool of talent Similar views were shared by winners of the IT Leader Awards. We should be more ready now to look at also innovation and creating, creating, um, our, putting our ideas together and creating new possibilities. And so for that to happen, it's not just the young, it's also the diverse groups of individuals, not just from Infocom itself, but people with different backgrounds, different industry knowledge, to be able to come together to co-create and innovate and find new possibilities for Singapore as well as for the rest of the world. Today's entrepreneurship will be able to create more new companies, new products. It will really pull us on the, on the world map as a, as a hub of startups, as a hub of entrepreneurship. So I see this whole journey and this whole entrepreneurship uh, interest and awareness will actually create new economies for our country. And for his take on the need for more Infocom specialists, I'm joined now by Howie Lau, President of the Singapore Computer Society. Howie, thanks for joining me. Thank you for your time. Uh, Howie, the minister pointed out just now about mm. the needs and the uh, opportunities actually for the Infocom sector. Why are we training? Why are we not training enough uh, Infocom workers to meet the demand? I think if you look at the industry, I think the minister was right in that the industry continues to be extremely vibrant and, and uh, strong growing for a few reasons. One is that if you look at technology, it's gone from being a productivity tool to a competitive advantage for almost all companies. Um, it's gone from something that sits in the realm of uh, corporations to individuals. Uh, I read that there was a recent global survey that said that uh, Singaporeans were one of the highest in terms of uh, handphone, smartphone penetration. Nine out of ten of mm -hmm. us uh, carry a handphone. Um, and then third, that adds to the vibrancy is that the speed of technology uh, keeps changing. And obviously when the speed of technology keeps changing, then there is a need for the professionals to ensure that we have a constant match of the requirements of the skills as well. Mm. So essentially, uh, nobody gets left behind in that sense. Mm. Um, in terms of local talents, do you think we are losing them to other countries? Actually, a couple ways of looking at it. We, we did a survey in the Singapore Computer Society. Um, and the society, we uh, represent the, the voice of the professionals in the industry. Um, and in our annual survey that was released last year in 2015, we saw that 97% um, of uni students and 74% of poly students uh, actually chose ICT as one of their top three choices. Mm. So we do see a great interest in the, uh, from a student perspective coming in. But at the same time, we also do recognize there needs to be platforms to allow professionals who are in career and mid-career to be able to adapt uh, and to be able to uh, reform their skills uh, to meet the current requirements. Mm. Now, uh, the minister mentioned that IT skills can be picked up. That's what you mentioned just mm. now as well, you know, mid-career changes. Mm. Um, and these people don't have to be formally trained in the area per se. Uh, do you see many of these mid-career switches in the industry? Um, I would say there's a Chinese phrase called Yo Xing Wu Nan Shi. If you have the heart and the passion, uh, mm. nothing is impossible. Um, the second part is that you will find that the, the availability of platforms for you to get retrained uh, is just very wide-ranging. Um, so you have your formal courses that is run by the universities and the polytechnics. Mm. You will have a certification courses run by, for example, Computer Society has a series of certification courses. At the same time, you can go online. Uh, through all the MOOCs and Coursera's to get uh, different training. So I was just sharing with my friend that uh, when I was in secondary school, I did some basic programming. And then recently I went back to YouTube to learn Python. So I think it's a question of the platforms are there. Uh, how do you match the platforms to 
the professionals to say, I'm looking for an opportunity mm. to get retook. Right. Mm. Okay, uh, very quickly now, uh, Howie, there's a perception that perhaps the IT industry isn't as uh, glamorous because it's a support industry uh, at mm. the end of the day uh, and it doesn't produce leaders. How do you change that perception? I think a few uh, areas. I think we're already getting a lot of help from the, uh, the global scene where uh, the, the IT leaders like Mark Zuckerberg mm -hmm. and all this are creating waves. Um, but at the same time, within Singapore, it's important for us to create platforms to recognize outstanding individuals. And that's where the, uh, the annual IT Le Leader Award, this is our 20th year. Uh, where we're able to showcase the amazing contributions, not only of uh, IT leaders, but also young entrepreneurs, mm. uh, folks coming out fresh from school as well. Right, so hopefully in the near future, we could see our very own Mark Zuckerberg. Well, we're looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much, Howie, for Thank speaking with me. Yeah. I've been speaking with Howie Lau, President of the Singapore Computer Society.